Hey YouTube, I am back and this time before I forget, before I lay down and forget to keep my word about the shower, I had took the time to take out everything so that I can show y'all how it's done. And, and to be honest, I haven't even used it yet because like I said, I've been running through home and catching pretty much showers um, every day with truck stops and stuff. So I haven't really had to pull it out yet. But this is my first time pulling out. Every time I unveil something, you know, I always save it to show y'all first before I even use it because I like showing y'all stuff. So let's get to the nitty gritty of what we need for the shower on your truck. Now, you know, there are more advanced ways to do a shower on your truck. And then there are less advanced ways and the way that I have my showers is kind of less advanced, but it's a starter because, um, I wish I could shoot them out without, you know, y'all know I'm horrible with names, but I had looked at this guy YouTube video and he had, um, like he had that water bucket I showed y'all in the last video the, for the reserve water and he had a heater and I haven't ordered my heater yet. So he had a shower to where I think it was, um, not propane but it was electric to where it pumped out shower water and it held up to seven gallons of shower but i showed y'all this in another video too this is the shower that i have and i'm hoping i'm hoping that where i got it hanging at that is good enough you know for for the which it will because this is the shower head right here and um the way you warm the water up since i don't have my heater just yet I probably have to put it in um like the sun so I either put it like on my dash like when the sun is out pretty decent or put it like probably on my front seat to let it be warm I don't want to put it too close to my bunk heater like um I'm about to change this carpet too but like my bunk heater is like right in this area somewhere but you can't put nothing near no bunk heater because you put something near a bunk heater these bunk heaters get so hot that it will melt stuff. I remember one time, cause sometimes when I drive, my my cabinet doors be opening and stuff be falling out. So I think my food cabinet had opened and my season, <laughs> my season had fell, fell out. And look what the heater bunk did to it. It almost melted this thing pretty darn good. So, you know, I, I have to check it every so often cause my stuff fall out to make sure that nothing is on my hazard or anything. Cause you know, obviously as we out here on the road as truckers, we tend to buy a lot of stuff to where, you know, it can get a little cluttered on here. So I got stuff off my truck to where it's still, to me, it looks a little cluttered, but I mean, it's better than it was. You can't, I mean, this is a home, but it ain't a house. So you can do what you can, but let's get to what we need. So let me kind of turn this bright light off. All right, so what we gonna need is, like I was telling y'all before, this is the bin and um let me see how many gallons i mean it don't matter which whatever you get that you would feel comfortable standing in that you feel the shower curtains can go in to complete your shower do what you feel comfortable with so this is what i felt comfortable with so this lighting is pretty much giving me the lighting so let me try to hold up all right all right so this bin i got i'm sure y'all probably know everybody had bins why you not know a bin? All right, I'm sorry. I told y'all that it was a seven gallon bin, but I was wrong. It's a 30 gallon bin. So this thing holds 30 gallons of water. And what I got was a shower mat. So the shoe, as big as this thing is, if I really had enough water, I could truthfully take a bath in this thing if I wanted to and just dump it out. So like I got a um, shower mat. So when I stand on it, I got cushion under my feet as if I'm really in the shower or if I want to sit in here, you know, sit down a little bit. I got some cushion, you know, for my booty. So now right now I got about, they say you only needed two shower curtains, but I get enough. So I have enough. So I got my shower curtains and I'm gonna open this up and set it up for y'all. So I got three shower curtains. I say, no, I thought I had three. No, I only got two. Well, we're going to make it fit. And I got some clothes pins because I'm a pin because I got the shower rods. I got the shower rods, which is, let me see. It is, I'm trying to look at the specs. 
I'm gonna read it to y'all. It's 43 inches to 72 inches, and that's how long my curtain rod. I'm sorry, the light is kind of bright, but that's how long my curtain rod is. So I know my curtain rod can fit in here as far as from you know one side of the truck to the other. I'm sure this the shower rod should be the same thing. That's why I got that measurement. And then of course, you're gonna need um shower hooks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the two shower rods going directly across, well, one like behind my cabinet and in front of my cabinet, and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna move the the shower curtains over and use my clothespins to clip them together, and then you know once I get to where I know that all the shower curtains is going directly into my 30 gallon bin, I know that I won't get water anywhere. Now I already pre-filled my my um my portable shower so i'm really not going to need to pull out my um my water reservoir so this thing is still full full of the four six gallons and i got this thing full so if i wanted to shower now i could and i don't have to pull that out so all right let's try to get this set up i might have to put y'all on pause while i do it so let me try to get a good set up real quick all right so all right, so we got our shower curtains. So these shower things, I mean, y'all y'all know what a shower rod is. So this, you know, it um it pulls out. Like at first when it's new, you got to kind of take all the wrappings off and everything. And you pull it out. So it pulls out to a full 72 inch of length. So I'm going to put, let me get the shower curtains. Matter of fact, matter of fact let me go put y'all on pause so I don't waste time. But I'm about to open up the um hooks and set the hooks up and set the shower curtains on the rod so we can just kind of take it from there so hold on for a second i'll be right back okay now i know i gotta hang it up and everything but i finally got the hooks in there you know it's kind of different hooks but two i got two shower curtains i thought i had three but only have two so now i just gotta put my rods up and put the curtains on the rods so let me sit y'all down for a second Okay, I can just, it's always set up. I gotta get my dang phone thing back from my um, tripod. All right, so now, let me try to, now we're gonna do our bride. So, I know y'all like, dang, that girl got, she wear the Eagles jersey, and now she got us looking at a Ravens poster. Which one is she? Well, shit is all up North team, so, hey. <laughs> Don't y'all judge me either because of a football team. Uh, you'd be surprised how many people take football so serious to the point they won't mess with you or even be your friend because you support a different football team than they do. So what I'm doing is I'm just sliding the hooks onto the rod so when I go to hang it up, now I got a shower curtain. So I can pretty much just let the water fall as it may. And that's pretty much it. That's why I said this is it's not as hard as it seems. You just got to know what to do. And like I said, it was two guys I ran across that had the showers on their trucks. And they had it, um, like I said, one guy. I think the other guy, the first guy I saw had the same thing I had. And the other guy had more like an electric one where it pumped the water out. And that's the one I want. And then the other guy that had the same shower I had, he also had um, a portable washing machine. And I'm going to get that washing machine next. I just haven't gotten around to... Um, being home to get it so that way I don't have to wash my clothes in truck stops I can just wash my clothes in my truck so I can save a lot of time and money all right so I got them on now I just have to make room where my other rod is to hang it up so let's hang it up honestly you could probably put it to, through to the two cabinets in this truck so i got the rod on this you can set up how you want this is just i'm just trying to figure this out myself so we are both new to this so y'all bear with me then i got the other end 
going inside with my other rod because the rod alone from uh, cabinet to cabinet, I'm guessing it's too long. So I spread it out. Oops, that fell down some, so I didn't have it tight enough. So Sure it won't fall. All right. So now I gotta set the other one up. Not that you have to probably leave some of these off because, like I said, I'm gonna use the clothespin to close in to close in the corners. You know, close in the corners. So I guess you just kind of probably measure it of how much it would take. So I'm gonna leave about four of these off and probably leave four of them off on the other side and then put it up so it's kind of like it's kind of like you making a tent so <laughs> man who, who didn't have fun in tents when they were young so it's kind of like making a tent for yourself but it's a shower tent so all right so i got this one hooked up now i'm about to put this one up Dang, I gotta be careful. Man. Alright, so let me uh let me get a good leverage so I don't fall. Man, let me put y'all up here. I'm sorry for the light. So let's squeeze it out. Oh man. So I'm guessing this upper part of this this kind of tall. Well, I'm gonna use this for leverage. I'm about to use the top of my bin up here for leverage all right so all right so now we got everything almost set up now we just got to position our our um bin so when we get to stand in it i'm gonna take a few clothes pins out i'm oh, sorry there we go i'm gonna take a few clothes pins out so i can be ready to cover up the gaps so i got my few clothes pins all right so now I'm about to position my sh my shower bin. Make sure the shower curtain is in there, and this is what it looks like. So now I'm about to say I wanted to take a shower. Now I'm in my shower, so I'm in here about ready to get clean, so I ain't got to worry about going to a truck stop. All right, so now I got to put this. I got so I need to move this over so kind of make this flush with my bed so that this part of the shower curtain can go in so i'll put both shower curtains in i don't know if they got longer shower curtains or not but if you can get longer then get longer so you know for sure you got protection for the shower curtain to go inside your bin all right so i got both of them in now i got to use my um I have to use my clothes pants to close the gap. So, like I said, let's close the gap. Alright, y'all might can't see me all the way because I gotta do this. And I don't even think you really need a whole lot of clothes pins either. So we gonna close pin these two together. And you're gonna close pin um and we're gonna close pin the the bottom portion just to make sure we getting more coverage now i'm not going to do it fully all the way right because i'm not taking a shower right now so i'm just trying to do a ballpark so um you can build stuff and i plan on like building some better rods than what these temporary rods are and probably build a better hook for my um for my shower so that i can hang it probably hang it more up you know up on the uh you know more straight so for now 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to close this in. So I'm in my shower, and you know I'm gonna get my clothes pin. So I'm, I'm gonna wrap this around. I'm gonna wrap this around my shower so that my shower can be inside the shower. Well, I'm probably most likely gonna have to bring, probably gonna have to bring it over. So now I'm gonna get some more clothes pins. So, matter of fact, I'm gonna put y'all on pause so I can set it up because I don't think I'm getting good angle. So hold on for a second. Okay, <laughs> this looks fun. Well, I, well, I'm a, you know, it won't look like that if I was really doing it. Like I would have it more neater as far as you know, no water getting in here. But pretty much, this is a shower. I am inside the bin. As you see, I have plenty of room. I have plenty of room in here. So, and now I got my shower. So, it was kind of hard wrapping the curtain around the shower, but I got my shower. So, like I said, I have to buy something where it can hang higher. Cause I'm sure it would be hard to, um, it will be hard. Oh shoot, I ain't got it set up all the way. But I have to get probably better rods too. So, wait a minute, let me try to sit y'all down so I can fix this. All right, so, peekaboo. Peekaboo, I'll see you. <laughs> all right, so now we got, all right, let me show y'all how the shower works. So now we know this is how you set up the shower as far as shower curtains and you use the clothes pin to close in the corners. And like I said, you use the rods for now until you probably go like Home Depot and build your own rods, which I probably might end up doing depending on how things turn out. So like I said, once you get everything set up and you can position your shower bag that you're going to get off of Amazon, more higher, obviously, because this is too low. But what you do is you just, um, there you go. Yep. And you just shower. And this is five gallons of shower. And like I said, it's all going to go in here. And this is really comfortable. Splish, splash. I've been taking a bath. All right. So, like I said, once it fill up, you know, most likely you're going to try to do this the way you know you can pour it out as soon as you finish. So, that's pretty much how you do the shower. So, all right. Let me take this down. And like I said, because another thing too, like this bin, like obviously you're going to wash it out every time you use it. So, once you wash it out and everything... The good thing about storage for it is, you know, you can probably put some things in it. Like all this stuff that you see up, all I gotta do is take it down, fold it up, and once I fold it up, I put it back inside, back inside the bin, and I put, let me take the clips off. Once I put it back inside the bin, I just pretty much, um, like I got my coat in the way or whatever, but where you see my coat at, that's why I just put the bin there so it, don't, it doesn't look cluttered or anything. Because, I mean, most people got bins sitting on top of their bunks anyway to store their clothes or whatever. So, after I finish, you know, taking a bath or taking a shower, I clean it out and just store everything back the way I got it from. So, that concludes how I would take a shower once I get, you know, everything fully set up the way I want. But either way, shoot, like I said, I could take a bath because I'm more of a bath person anyway. So, if I get probably just about four gallons of water, I can just sit and wash up and do what I gotta do and be fresh. Uh uh. All right, y'all. Time is the essence. I took too much of y'all time. So, let's love each other, not judge each other. Time is the essence. Let's make better time of it. And I love you guys, especially my supporters. So, deuces. <laughs>